Welcome to module five of AES 6050. Um, as with all modules, except module eight, you have a quiz due by Sunday over the reading material. Um, for our assignment this week due on Sunday, you're going to write a clinical scenario based on your PICO question. Uh, make sure that you watch the video uh, in the reading resources area about how to write a clinical scenario. I also recommend that you download a few PICO papers from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning and see how they write their clinical scenario because that is the expectation. This is a rough draft for your comprehensive paper and again as you always run it through Grammarly. I have provided a template for you here to, and I also provided more information about what you should write in your clinical scenario. Make sure that you use that uh, template, make sure that you cite your references, and make sure that you provide a reference list for your clinical scenario. Again, this is due on Sunday. The uh, discussion board assignment due on Thursday or day four is going to be, uh, we're going to be talking about stats it's, uh, this week in the readings in the lectures to talk about associational inferential statistics also known as correlational research uh, so what you're going to do is based on your module 3 assignment or the four articles that you are using to answer your PICO question did any of the articles the research did they use any associational inferential statistics or correlational type research statistics sorry to analyze their data if none of them did, why did they not use that type of stats to answer their research question? Because that's what they're doing. They're using their stats to answer their purpose statement or their research question. If they did use it, why did they use that? You can tell us what kind of uh, stats they used and why did they use that particular type of statistics? To answer to your research question. Then look at your PICO question. Could you use an associational inferential statistics to answer your PICO question? Why or why not? So that's due Thursday. Then you're going to respond to your a minimum of two of your fellow students uh, by Sunday, providing them constructive feedback. And as always, make sure that your response is a minimum of one, pa one paragraph. And again, make sure that you complete your reading quiz by Sunday. 